Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. China. China is the big one on the news this evening here. And uh, many of you, I don't, I'm not even really sure who all knows about the uh, fiber optic cables that were cut by China. China decided to slip in there, cut those cables there uh, in preparations for a soon coming war with Taiwan. When I say soon coming, that can still be months away. Please understand, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen uh, immediately. But what I have learned, though, from all this information that I'm getting out of Washington uh, right now about China is that certain things that have been happening have been happening for a reason, and it actually shows that it means that Taiwan has a green light. Now, one of those issues just so happens to be the balloons that have been shot down by the U.S. And uh, that was something that, I mean, I know that the countries do this uh, from time to time. They do send these balloons up, et cetera. And we've talked about that before. But specifically, uh, I got a little bit more information about China and why China actually did exactly that. Uh, China, uh, let me just look at some of the notes that I have here. Uh, there's several things about China, but the balloons themselves, as I was told, is basically letting the U.S. government know that China's got a green light for moving forward on Taiwan. So what China is now doing is gathering intel. They're gathering more intelligence about our operations here and that uh, so that they, when they go to, to uh, take Taiwan down, they will be better prepared knowing what our capabilities are or are not here in the United States. Uh, we already know that, uh, and as, or let me put it, let me back up for a moment. One of the things that I was told about on this situation with the Chinese spy balloon is that China could look using satellite imagery, but when you use a balloon, you're only 60,000 feet up and the resolution is far greater than being all the way up at a satellite, which is you know, gosh, I don't even have any, have any far, but, you know, probably a couple of miles high, something to that effect, or even higher. Uh, in this case here, uh, well, it'd be more than a couple of miles high, whatever satellites travel at, right? So, but the point is, is that the balloons are able to take and examine our basis as one of the things that I was told that China, um, uh, that China, what China is wanting to do is China is wanting to take and uh, see which one of our bases are actually active. If you remember back under Bill Clinton, a lot of the bases were mothballed. And China wants to see for sure which ones are or are not mothballed. Another thing that China is looking for uh, with these spy balloons here is our power grid system. They are looking to see are the transmission lines running underground or are they running above ground on power poles. Uh, we have all types of systems here in the United States. And one thing that was said to me is that when China gets ready to take down Taiwan, one of the first things they're going to do here to America is sabotage our power grid. They're going to try to bring our power grid down to create us havoc here, make it more difficult for us to gather intel out of what's going on overseas. Even though we do have bases all over the world, that's still a major issue. Another thing is our supply chain. How are we actually conducting our supply chain? Uh, they want to know the roads, the things like that. And when you think about that, though, it also makes you wonder if China's not planning on doing an attack here in the U.S. But the case is not that. It's just knowing what they can do to disrupt those supply chains, but do it in a way to where you don't really realize it's China behind it in the first place. But this is the reason for the spy balloons, and this is the reason what the, what the Chinese are doing right now. And of course, when I heard about the power grid going down, that they would sabotage our power grid once they get ready to take down Taiwan, I immediately began to think about the EMP shield, and that's one thing that you might want to keep in mind, and don't forget that. And uh, so at the end of the broadcast, I'll share again with you, just so you know, using that INL50 code if you want to get that to protect your home. I think the home would be important in this case here. Uh, not as much maybe your vehicle, but your home. Uh, so anyway, this is what China is plan planning on doing there. There's several other things too that I wanted to report to you. Like I said, they, they cut the, the fiber optic cable as well. And, uh, and, and, and of course, there are 
the, in the intelligence community, there has been a tremendous concern about China as of right now, uh, in so much that the high-level executives uh, of intelligence community have been warning their families to move inland. Uh, I'll be covering that in a special broadcast over on um, over on our, our platform for uh, Patreon. So if you want to catch that information there, you can. Uh, but anyway, um, another big thing that w- was shared with me too is that uh, because we I got into the discussion uh, this morning in the Intel meeting there about our ammo supplies. I know there's a lot of talk about ammo supplies. They're having a hard time keeping up with the ammo supplies for Ukraine, uh, battling Russia over in Ukraine. And, and, and one of the things that was shared with me is that we actually used to buy a lot of our ammo from China. 20 years ago, they said China would give us good ammo, but as time went on, slowly but surely, China began to introduce ammo that would cause a lot of corrosion. Uh, it's almost as if it was done intentionally to mess up our own equipment and cause problems there. As a result, we're not getting much ammo any longer from China. And uh, it is believed that that has been part of what's been done in order to create problems, uh, knowing this future events that are going to be that would be happening there. And let's see here. Also, um, China is... Um, Okay, all right, we actually spoke about that issue there. Let me just double check my notes here. Um, right, we got into the power grid, things of that nature already there. So, and then of course, yeah, I had one other thing that came up in, in our discussion there because a friend of mine uh, down in Florida, actually he's in Southern Alabama, had asked me about the, the green laser that was seen over Hawaii. And the ind- the individual that I know, they knew of the incident, but didn't actually know what was going on about that. I know that the news has been talking about that that was China that was in behind all of that. Uh, that may very well be the case there. But we did bring up a subject that I've actually shared over on Patreon before. I don't think I've ever shared it with you guys here. I'll bring it up, though, with you guys, as, uh, just so you're aware of this. And that is that China does have a uh, technology with laser where they can transmit a laser beam that will actually show a message to their soldiers on the ground, appear right before their face. They can see that image of the message that they need, and we don't know how to intercept it. We don't know how to decrypt it. We don't know how to do anything, and we don't know how China pulls it off. That's just some of the interesting things going on there when it comes to China. But uh, I did ask the question, when will China go after Taiwan? And right now, according to the military experts uh, about that, they believe sometime between October and November will be when China goes after Taiwan. But they said the one thing that you will know is that China will go after our grid before they go in to take Taiwan down. So be careful to watch that. And of course, another thing that was a major issue uh, behind the China-Taiwan event is they believe that China will not go after Taiwan until we are bogged down in direct confrontation with Russia. That will play a major role in when China decides to make their move on Taiwan. And this may all be playing into, one thing, keep in mind, this may really be playing into um, the destabilization of our own country. As I shared with you over on Patreon already in a broadcast we did there about uh, this uh, this guy from uh, across the border had been bussed in uh, along with several other migrants that the CIA was training in a special uh, operation there, mind-altering operation using uh, illicit drugs, things like that, for a uprising here in the United States that will take place near the end of the year, so the man claimed. This is something the FBI also has a report on. I uh, shared a little bit of the information of the FBI report on that, and that there is a destabilization. That'll be another video, too, I'm going to get back into tonight on Patreon, because we're going to be talking about the pipe bombs that have been found on the tracks, railroad tracks. Who's planting them, and why are they planting them? So uh, just some of these things there we'll be sharing with you over there. So actually, I guess there's three videos I need to do. Gosh, got it. hard to keep up with all this stuff, so... Uh, we'll get into that there. So I, I trust that this all will help helps in some way. Uh, keeping in mind there, though, that uh, oh, oh, going back to the issue with China and Taiwan, 
it appears to be that we will be bogged down in a war with Russia when it comes to Germany because we it is looking more and more like from the from the information that our that we've been gathering that uh, Russia is going to engage Germany directly and when they do we will come to Germany's aid and that'll be when it is suspected that China will go after Taiwan when our hands are completely full I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening. And by the way, I did say, and I forgot, almost forgot about it, just to remind you on the EMP shield there, uh, if you choose to get an EMP shield for your home, your vehicle, whatever the case may be, and I know now they've got them even for motorcycles, uh, little small ones that you can put on a motorcycle, I should say. Uh, but when you're doing that, we'll just hit the home protection one here. I don't know if they're running any sales right now. Um, but if you do that, you add that to your cart for the one for your home. They also have them for European models. Uh, make sure that you choose the appropriate one. But the important thing is, is the INL50 code. Uh, EMP Show gives you a $50 discount when you do that. So when you proceed to your checkout, it'll go from $389, um, which is not showing me on this one here now. Oh, yeah, it is. here. Nope, still not showing it because they want me to sign in and buy it. So used to, I could just go straight there and show you how that works there. But now it's got all the information. They've kind of redone it a little bit. But it will, it will discount another $50. And it doesn't matter if you buy one item or if you buy 10 items, each item will get an additional $50 off. So if you did 10 items, you'd say $500. Uh, I don't know why anybody would want 10 items, but just to make the point so you kind of understand how that works. Thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.